Thank you, Tom. The East Central neighborhood in Spokane could see more changes along the I-90 corridor. This week, the state legislature passed Senate Bill 5853, which would allow the Department of Transportation to lease state property near I-90 and the new North-South Freeway back to the community. Krem 2's Malia Kamal spoke to a man who sold his house in 2010 to make room for the interstate. She has more on this story tonight. The I-90 freeway should have never split the community. Uh, which is very typical of, of folks who see an area and say, well, you know, there are minorities over there. We don't care about them. They won't mind. And so they split the entire neighborhood in half, uh, which is very, very sad. Thomas Spate's house used to be right around here. They were buying all the property up, and the state came through and offered us uh, actually good money for the house. So... I told my mother to sell. The Spate family was one of hundreds that sold their house in 2010, forcing them to move out of the East Central neighborhood. I felt ties to the neighborhood. So much so, he ended up opening his bakery, had, Spokane uh, Cheesecake, a year later in the, the neighborhood. Address, now that the state is planning to lease surplus land back to the community, Spate is hoping that the property will be turned into affordable housing. State Senator Andy Billig says most likely it will, and this bill aims to reconnect the neighborhood. But this is a part also of a, a national conversation and a conversation throughout our state about righting some of the wrongs uh, from the past with highway construction. According to the bill, whomever leases the land will pay less than market value, but the exact cost is still undetermined. Malia Kamal, CREM 2 News.